Today we're going to be doing a journal entry in our reading journal together. You're going to need a few things. Make sure you have your reading journal. The pages that you're going to need are inside your reading packet and they look like this. You have your pie that says author's purpose and you've got the sheets that go under it right here. Make sure you have a pair of scissors, some glue, and something to color it in with. We're going to go to our table of contents, and the next thing in your table of contents after figurative language should be author's purpose. Today is the 20th, and you're going to put whatever page you are on in your class here. After that, we're going to go ahead and go on to our journal page now. I'm going to title my journal page. And I'm going to write myself a definition right here. An author always has a reason why they're writing. And the three main reasons that we're going to go over is to persuade, inform, and entertain. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight that definition because I like to highlight the definitions in my journal so I can see them at a glance later on. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut out our author's purpose pie and the definitions in the back. This back flap can be cut out in one solid piece. So I'm gonna highlight it for you. This should come out as one big rectangle like this, okay? You won't have to cut anything, but just its sides. Your top page is gonna be cut out a little bit different. You're going to do the same thing. You're gonna cut out the four sides. And along with those four sides, you are going to cut out the flap in the middle. So you're going to cut straight down the middle like this and you're going to cut this cross line like this. Go ahead and cut those out now. After you're done cutting those out you should have three pieces. You should have the solid piece that you had on the bottom and these two top pieces right here. You're going to go ahead and glue this bottom piece on now. Your top pieces are going to line up with these long pieces on the sides right here. So you should have your author's purpose and the eye on the left side and the P and the E on the right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a row of glue on each side. And glue those on. Now let's go ahead and fill this out to give ourselves a little bit more information. Our author's purpose is why an author writes something. There's three main reasons why an author writes something. To persuade, to inform, 
or to entertain. And I'm gonna go ahead and write those on the end so I can remember. Right here, I'm gonna write persuade. Right here, I'm gonna write inform. And on this side, I'm gonna write entertain. Let's start out with persuasive writing. When someone's trying to persuade you in a piece of writing, they're trying to convince you to see things the way they are. A lot of times we won't see it with the word persuade. They'll talk about, they'll say something like a piece that will convince you or influence you. Or maybe they're comparing opinions. Those are three important words that you may see that are a hint that this is a persuasive piece. There are certain texts that are usually persuasive pieces, and we're going to write those on the inside. We have advertisements. are made to persuade us to buy something or use a certain company for a service. That's like a commercial. Advertisements are uh, physical and commercial or media. We have speeches, maybe like campaign speeches, people trying to convince you to vote for them or vote for something that they want you to vote for. And we have opinion pieces in newspapers. The next reason an author might write something is to inform you. And this is gonna be a lot of your nonfiction texts. Uh, when the author is trying to inform you, it's trying to teach the reader and provide information about a topic. So you're, you're gonna see that they give you a lot of facts when they're doing informative pieces. The types of writing that you'll see that are informative pieces are encyclopedias, uh, scientific articles, We have textbooks or instructions. Recipes or newspapers. And biographies or autobiographies. All these different texts are written with the purpose of informing the reader about a topic. Just like persuasive writing, there are a few key words that we'll see that will give us a hint that this is going to be an informative piece of writing. When we see the word tell, inform, Describe, express, explain, show. And the last one is going to be to entertain. And this is probably what we read the most of our fiction writing, stories, uh, graphic novels. They're just written to make the reader enjoy the text. Types of writing will be fictional. Comic books, poems. Of 
plays, jokes, and journals and diaries. Right now we're reading The One and Only Ivan. This book is made to entertain. It's a fictional writing piece that the author wrote to entertain the people who are writing. We're gonna read two additional pieces this week that are a persuasive writing piece and an informative writing piece. So look out for those different to see which type of writing piece it is and what in there lets you know that it's persuasive to see which type of writing piece it is, the informative, and what in there lets you know that it's informative. Go ahead and take some time to color this in if you like. And you're all done.